welcome back to my channel or hi if you're new here my name is Emma I make videos I post every Sunday 8 o'clock and during the summer Wednesdays at 1 o'clock so if you're not subscribed to my channel you should go down below and do that also my Instagram will be linked down below so if you're not following that you should go check that out because I'm working really hard on my theme and I post about upcoming videos and stuff like that so during the summer I see a lot of people eating these things called smoothie bowls and I decided to try this a few weeks ago with my friend Morgan and we made them and it was delicious and I thought why not make an entire video about this so I thought that we would do this today so that's what we're doing so the first thing that you'll need are bananas you can also chop them up and then put them in the freezer but I didn't do that so that's what happened get your cutting board get your knife and peel your banana okay so basically I'm just gonna slice up the banana So the next thing you want to do is just put these into the blender. And now wash your hands. I already cut up some peaches, so I'm just going to put these in here with the bananas. So next I'm going to be putting in some unsweetened coconut milk. Remember to always put on the lid. We don't want any spewing to happen. And get your bowl ready for the decorating part. What differs a smoothie bowl from a regular smoothie is for one, obviously, it's in a bowl. And then second, what I feel like is a kind of a big difference is that smoothie bowls are a bit chunkier and so they're not as liquidy or as runny as a regular smoothie. So make sure that you don't blend it too much because you want to be able to pick it up with a spoon and it not be completely soupy, you know what I mean? I forgot the key ingredient. It's cool. It's fine. I'll add it in. Don't worry. Mm. Mix the Greek yogurt around because no one likes that oily bit on top. That kind of grosses me out. The old dollop. For now, we'll see what happens. Basically, this is just trial and error for me because I don't actually have a recipe. I'm just going off of my knowledge on smoothies and my knowledge on smoothie bowls, which isn't a lot, but basically Pinterest pictures and that one time I made one. It's cool. There we go. That seems a little bit better. Now, this isn't completely necessary, but I think it gives it a cooler look. It's to decorate the top of it, like how you see smoothie bowls on Pinterest and stuff like that. So I have some black chia seeds and then I also have some peaches because that's what I used in this one and then bananas, but they're still in the freezer. So the next one is going to taste a little bit like a key lime slash strawberry smoothie kind of thing. So basically what I'm using instead of the regular plain Greek yogurt is key lime blend yogurt. Okay, so the first thing that I'm doing for this one is getting the green leaves off of the strawberries and just popping those into here. I don't know why I keep saying popping them in there. I could just say drop them in there or put them in there, but I guess popping them sounds more fun. I don't know. Okay. We don't talk about that. Before I put the coconut milk in, I'm going to squeeze a little bit of lime juice in there because I thought it would be better for the taste. Now that everything's in there, I'm going to blend it together. probably my favorite one has peanut butter and blueberries so the first thing I'm going to do is like I've done before is put the bananas into the blender and now I'm going to put some blueberries into the blender and now a spoonful of natural creamy peanut butter and now finishing I'm going to put some coconut milk in it and now blend it together So if you like this video, then please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not. Also, like I said, my Instagram will be put down below, so please go check that out. That's everything for today, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.